Hey everybody, Frugal Farmer here. This is old barn I just happened to get a picture of. Well, when I was young, before I was in high school, junior high, high school, we'd get together, we'd have barn parties. Somebody's car would have a nice eight track in it and they'd be playing some music and None of us really dance, but every once in a while we'd have a little bit of libations to add to the party. And we got in high school, we had other stuff too we'd bring to the party. And we never really had any trouble because we were so happy to have a place to get together that uh, we squelched any trouble quick. And, you know, most of the time it was just a shove or something like that because we were real picky about who came and who didn't. But <clears throat> where I was from, we had Native American, black, and white people. And that's who we partied with. All of us come there and sit around, talk, listen to music. And uh, usually the parents wouldn't even bother us. Well, nobody danced that I can remember except one person. We had an exchange student, he was from Suriname. That is the smallest country in South America. Uh, his name was Ronnie Cetro Pereira. Ronnie was a friend of mine. Well, Ronnie was here staying with a professor and his wife. And uh, I asked Ronnie, did he want to go to a barn party? And everybody liked Ronnie. Once you met Ronnie, you just liked Ronnie. He was just that type of individual. Well, Ronnie got to the party. He was wanting to dance. <laughs> dance he did. He got the girls out there and he started dancing with one and she actually danced with him. She's an older girl. And uh, then there was a whole crowd of them, all of them just dancing around. Ronnie had a ball. <laughs> every week he'd ask me, he said, is there a barn party this weekend? I said, no, it's not every weekend. I said, about every other weekend, but you could go. And then after that, Ronnie went to every barn party that we could find. And, uh, I always, you know, enjoyed Ronnie being there. Like I said, he'd get there, get to talking, and I mean, he dearly loved my mom, and my mama dearly loved him. He'd come out to the house, and uh, my mom asked, she said, where's that young man from? And I told her, she said, oh, okay, she said, he's really nice. And uh, we just didn't have a lot of Hispanic people in this area at that point in time. And uh, Ronnie was kind of a regular with me when I wasn't working. I'd get Ronnie. He didn't have no way around. Sometimes I'd give him rides home to rides home too. And uh, these barn parties, they had some of the best times we had. And uh, I'd been thinking on them. I went by where one barn was. I was going to get a picture of it, but it was long gone. There's nothing left there now. But just an old memory, putting it into a video. Thanks so much for stopping by. Come back again when you will. Share, comment, like, hit that subscribe button. God bless.